Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. I thought, I mean, that's, that's the only bit that you need to do, is you plant the tree, and then the rest of it happens automatically, and it pushes all of the blocks out of the way, and so it actually harvests them automatically. Does the full harvesting, the only bit that you do is just stand there and, um, I think it was... I, whether you stood there and you planted the tree, or whether you stood there and you were the one that um, uh, you, you threw down the bone meal onto the tree. I can't quite remember, but there was a way of doing it. But there, that line has given me two full stacks of birch logs and another part stack. And I'm getting the various different birch um, saplings and stuff drop as well. So we'll just bring that one up. You only actually need to go up by two logs if you want to. When you're doing that first run back through. Uh, I Very often I will go up by three though. It just makes it a little bit easier. A bit faster. Um, take that one out. There wasn't much on this line, was there? And then harvest my way back through there. And I'm done. So that's everything there has been removed. Now I'm going to get things spawn in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to slowly disintegrate a minute. And we're going to jump over here. I didn't actually mean to go and do that. But I believe... Because you can't jump on the farmland. I, I made a mistake doing that. But I believe that pumpkins will grow without you needing to have it as actual farmland. So go and get some shut eye, and then we go back over to the birch again, and we'll see what we're left with. Fully rested, feeling a lot better. Much, you know, you, you start the day with a decent night's sleep, and everything just looks up, and it just looks wonderful, doesn't it? Right, so we jump into here. We've got a load of sticks. Sticks are always helpful, but mostly what we want in this is the birch saplings. Those are the important ones, and... Surprisingly, we've got quite a number of them here, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to kill this creeper. Yes, excellent. Right, we've got too many creatures around here. Far too many creatures. But we've managed to take them care, of, well, take care of them, right? Bees. I'm, I'm, st I'm still not really sure how I need to go about fully dealing with bees, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with the honey and stuff anyway. So that's uh, so why I'm, I'm leaving bees. I'm, I'm not getting involved with them just yet. So I've just picked up several of the birch saplings. There's another one over there. What have we ended up with? We've ended up with 37. Now I had, I think I had one stack. So by the time I go and get that lot over there, we could be doing all right as far as birch goes. Let's go in here a minute and we'll get these. I've only got one right there. If I just get rid of that one a second and then I go into the axe. Right, up by one. Like that. I'm going to go up by two, I think, this time. And no, I'll, I'll go three. And we'll go through like that. There's one up there that I want to get. Keep going like this. There's the one bit that didn't grow right there. Step across. And on a little bit further. Uh, up there. Ideal. And... This should end up getting us, like, like we'll, we'll have several stacks of birch logs after this. And it's very quick as well. Like, we didn't have to wait all that long for all of the birch trees to grow. So, yes, you can go and have, like, an automated farm and that. And it, it is quite a handy machine to go and build. But, honestly, I'm not sure that we'd even really need a use, like, uh, have a use for it. Because we can do this so quickly... Like this, it's not taken very long to go and get all of these stacks because we've got them all sort of piled up here. We've got a nice supply of diamonds coming in now, which means that we've also got a nice supply of um, like 
decent axes and we can put some good enchantments on these axes so that we've got uh, better efficiency running on them. The more efficiency we have on the axe, obviously, the faster we can hack our way through all of the timber. But this is pretty quick. Uh, this, this is, I mean, definitely considerably faster than punching our way through all of the trees. We would be here a very long time if we had to punch our way through all of these. Now, the only concern is, are they far enough away from the dark oak to properly despawn? I'm hoping they are. I'm going to leave that fence open, just for the, the gate open, just for a minute. There doesn't appear to be anything else here. I will bust that off. Right. Nothing else appears to be here at the moment. I'm not taking out another birch tree because I don't want to... Like, I, I want to see how many we end up with. I know that I picked up, like, four birch saplings uh, that didn't grow yet. So we have got those added to our total, but then that's just ones that didn't grow. So, you know... You would hope that you would get at least one birch sapling per tree that grew and then has despawned. So I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to help this a little bit. Let's see. If we get a full stack, absolutely fantastic. I'm. We may have had... Did we have more than a full stack? I don't actually remember now. Genuinely don't remember if we had more than a full stack or not. But we'll get rid of a whole load of these leaves. I especially want to make sure I get the ones down this side. Just in case some of them don't despawn with the dark oak being where it is. But look at all of these. I've got 60 already. There's two over there on the ground. I know there's more up in the air that are floating. They still haven't dropped down to us. Which means that we've easily got a full stack of birch saplings here. There is the potential for more birch saplings. I don't remember exactly how many I brought over here. I'm going to build another line of them so that then we've got some spare. And we can always go and like harvest the first lot. Or harvest the next lot. And then we can just like, stick a whole load into storage and we don't need to worry about birch for absolutely ages plus we've also got a mountain of birch trees over that way you know what now that i think about it i'll put one line of birch saplings down here right here on this bit i won't do another line over there i think we will leave that line over there um so that we don't have to go and remove them and that way i'm not bound to go and dig these up anytime soon it uh, just make life a little bit simpler um, because I've got other things that I want to get on with. There's, there's other things that I want to do. There's another sapling right there. Okay, that's everything. Uh, it gives us 67 birch saplings. 67 birch saplings. Thank you very much. That is absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to go over to here and one back from the fence and then I'm going to do a line all the way over like this. I missed one there. Uh, I'm going to bring that line all the way back over to there. I'm going to keep it back one from the fence over here. Now, do I go in and do it? If I don't want to go up against the fence, but I will put it to there. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do another lot down through here. I don't know if these will grow. They may be too close to the fence. They might just be a bit too close to the fence right in there. But that still leaves 12 more, but you know, 15 birch saplings with two lines of them in there. I don't think we're going to run out of birch wood anytime soon. Like, I, I've just got this sneaky suspicion that we're going to be pretty set for birch wood for a very, very long time. Go out through there. Is there something on the ground there? No, there wasn't. I thought there was something on the floor there for a second. It's a bite to eat. A steak. There we go. Okay, these saplings, I'm going to go and stick them in a chest so that they're ready to go and grow yet again. And we'll come down here. Yes, I know. My, my storage system is world-beating. World-beating storage system. I have had people. I have had people make disparaging remarks about my storage system, saying... That it's not even a system. That I can't even classify this monstrosity as a system. Because it's not system at all. It's just a haphazard mess. And I am shocked, I tell you. Shocked. Shocked to my core. 
I mean, yeah, I also agree with you, but still. Um, I thought it was a pretty good system, to be honest. Let's drop that in there like that, and we'll take 12 of these. We've got some ladders now, and then we can go over here, and I will dump the sticks. Get rid of those. I'll come back for more torches later when I want more torches. Let's run up. We got it, It's almost night time, but if we run up here, we can go and put down the last couple of bits of ladder all the way up to the top up here. And then I've got to fill this bit up. Okay, let's not kill ourselves. I need to go into that bit up there. Let's eat steak on the way up. I'm going to need this in a minute. There, right. Now, if I go up... Ah, you idiot! You absolute moron! I mean, at least I fell only just here, but still, that's, that's damaged my armor and everything, and then it's made my inventory a complete and total mess. And it cost me... I had like 18 levels then, which I was going to use. I, that was important stuff. I was going to be using that. Let's get dressed. Put this back. You know what? I'm not even going to bother sorting this out because I'm probably going to do this wrong again. I want to get into that bit in there. I need to go further up so that then I don't just drop off the side. I need to go all the way up a lot higher than that. Now go off the ladder and then drop in there. There, that's better. That's what we wanted to do. So now I can take my torches like that and I can actually just light up this. That's all I wanted to do was put some torches in here. It wasn't like a... a particularly unpleasant thing to go on. Now I can get on the ladder. Now I can do it when it doesn't really matter. Jump over there. It's pretty much time for bed now. Let's go back in here. I didn't even get the ladders up there that I wanted to go and get. Fine. Let's get some sleep. It's just cost me like 11 levels and I wanted those I wanted those levels. Their, their XP levels, I wanted them to be able to do some more enchanting. Although, to be honest, I need to find some more lapis lazuli to do more enchanting. I've, I've run out of my lazuli. Uh, let's put that one. I've got a shovel in there. You go there. Oh, no. Diamond axe. Uh, di diamond sword right in there. And then food right there. And that leaves me three slots for building materials is how I normally run things. Okay, ladder can go down here, and I knew I had some melon still. I'll eat a piece of melon. There. And then, you know what, I'm just going to eat melon until I've used it up. This, this is starting to take up space now, so I'll use up my melons now. And we're going to scrimmy up the ladder here, and then we're going to put down the last few bits of ladder right at the very top so this takes us all the way up into the actual library which is going to be a lot better it's going to be a lot nicer and easier up like that there we go excellent and we've had a bit of snow that was last night when you know the, the, the snow was falling and i'm gonna to want to build things out that way that's probably not going to be too difficult i know we have things spawning under there and I want to do something with this under here, but I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I haven't fully decided. I am going to have to make sure that I put torches everywhere under here. Because if I don't... Okay, I don't want to put ladders. Over. You know, we could be glad of these ladders. They're getting out of some of these pits. Uh, but no, if I don't go and put torches everywhere down here, we're going to end up with unpleasant things spawning... Once we put the lid on. And I don't want unpleasant things spawning anywhere. Matter where we are, I don't want unpleasantness turning up and spoiling the party. It's always the, like you, you always get these creepers and, and rude creatures turning up, and quite frankly, it, it, it just spoils the party and, and ruins the fun for everybody, and, and you don't want it. So. We'll put it, we'll, we'll just chuck a few of these torches and that around. We've got bits down, there's pigs right there. Oh, that's really good. I didn't realise we had pigs that close. That's good. We'll be able to get them up and get a pig pen built at some point soon. Probably out here. We'll extend that out and just cover that with torches. But we'll deal with that. That's, that's not today's job. Um, 
Today's job is just to stop anything from spawning in here. Kind of thinking what I'm going to do is bring that down a couple of levels. And we'll have the library dropping down into here a little bit. But I don't know when and how we're going to do it. So anyway, we've we got some torches in here. Like this. And I can always go and put more torches in under here later if I think we need to when we sort of start encountering problems but right now I don't need to worry about that let's get onto the ladder there and scramble up this bit and then I need to dig off this I'm not gonna dig the snow if you dig the snow on the top it makes snowballs and yeah I don't I don't want to be getting those they just take up inventory space and they're not very useful so we'll dig the dirt off underneath like this. And if you dig the dirt off underneath the snow, it just breaks it. And you don't get a load of snowballs left. And also, if you break the snow with anything other than a shovel, like, it doesn't make snowballs. It's only if you do it with a shovel that it actually makes snowballs. So, so long as we don't make the snowballs, we'll be fine. Go over here. Uh, can I reach that from this point? Dark oak logs there. All the way out like that. I can reach that one. Uh, yes, I can. Right from here. There. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, ideal. That's all I wanted to do. And then up onto here. And then down onto there. And then we go out like this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and then that next one is going to be where the pillar needs to go so i'm going to jump straight down this is the pillar this one so i'm going to go down here and then i'm going to break my shovel in a second there and then i'll put that in like that i think i put that one in the wrong way around you know i don't really care at the moment that's fine if it happened to be the wrong way around just for one of them i'm sure we will cope one two three up like that and then i want to come out and build the rest out this way so i come back like that put one there i can't go across that bit there while i am crouching it won't let me just so you sort of go off the edge but there's not enough space for you to fall off so you can like shimmy around in between the pillars if you want to it's not the safest thing to go and do, but you can do it without actually perishing, which is which is good. So it's always nice if you've got you've got these options available to you. Let's have another melon slice and one more melon slice, and that's all melon slices now consumed. Then I want to go there and birch um, birch planks. I'm not going to make everything into birch planks immediately. I'm going to wait because. We could be glad of the space, that's all. Like, we've, we, we've not got masses of space at the moment. I need to build a storage system, a proper storage system, and not just the system I've got at the moment, which is chaos. Um, and But, you know, I was told that chaos is not a system. Chaos is absolutely a system. Chaos is chaos is good, you know. You you you, you might want to bring order to the universe at times, but sometimes chaos can be good as well. Out of chaos comes all sorts of interesting things. Um, you know, in, in theory, if if you had just perfect order throughout the entire universe, uh, life itself would never have been created. So, um. It, it, it came from chaos. If you had perfect order and everything was just cold and black and empty, that's perfect order. Uh, so you kind of needed to stir things up a little bit in order for, for life to turn up itself. So all I'm doing is I'm just giving life a chance to develop in my, um, in my chests downstairs. That's, that's, that's all that's happening is we're giving life its chance. We're giving life an opportunity to develop <laughs> in the chests. Although, I've got to be honest, if the chest sort of um, came to life and started wandering off, I'm not sure if I would be scared or if I would just be thrilled that the luggage had come to life. Like, if, if I actually had one of them develop a load of little legs and start wandering off on its own, 
I would be in equal parts terrified and thrilled because the luggage is quite possibly one of the greatest characters that um, Terry Pratchett ever created. I, I, I think the luggage is absolutely a wonderful, wonderful creature, but at the same time, it's also quite scary because, you know, it is technically a mimic. Um, so there, there is that. Now we've put that down there and we are done. We have got... The basic layout of the library in here at the moment. One, two, three, put one down. One, two, three, put one down. One, two, three, put one down. And then I'll do the same over this way. Like, I've lost count. One, two, three, there. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, here. And there, and there, and here. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, here. We're getting... That's, that's most... That's completely in the wrong place. Two, three, there. And it should be one, two, three. Yes, it is one, two, three. Ideal. So now we can go and put them down in a grid pattern like this so that we have torches throughout and uh, we're able to sort of go and concentrate on other things and we don't have to worry about anything nasty and unpleasant spawning in here except that I've now run out of torches so if I go and get some I've got this bit here I run out of torches for a minute and then we're gonna want to like late let's go let's go and get we'll go and make a couple of torches and then we can focus on a couple of other bits did I leave I did I put some coal in here let's have that and we'll go back into here because I've got no sticks on me, but I know where I left some. I've got a stack of 64 in there. And then I will go here, and I will go here, and I will make torches like that. Um, we will, you know what I'm saying, that we, you know, at the moment we don't really need to worry too much about uh, the trees and that. We're going to eventually want several trees growing because I turn those we take the trees I then put them through a furnace turn it into charcoal and then use that to be making torches I don't want to be using all the coal to make torches I know that with some trade through villagers we should be all right for getting coal um well actually you know I don't remember if you can get coal or not from villagers because a villager trading hall that's going to be another thing we want although that's that's going to be on the ground. I was wondering originally about putting a villager trading hall up here on top of the mountain, sort of um, where this library is being built. But now I'm thinking, no, the library is going to be the bit up here. Um, the villager trading hall, that will go somewhere else. Right, that's all the torches in place. Let's go back down here. Did you hear that? There's a witch spawned up there somewhere. I jumped off and moved a little bit. And I heard her laugh at me. Somewhere up there, there's a witch spawned. Be careful of that. That was um, slightly terrifying as well. Just <laughs> hearing that, like you're, you're just going along and there's a slight error and then something actually laughs in your ear. And that's very kind of disconcerting and, and, and worrying, that is. That, that, that genuinely did throw me. So let's, let's go up and have a look and we'll see if we can see where this witch actually spawned and see where it is. So on my... No, it was just the ladder. On my to-do list at the moment, I've got... Do a bit more to this library. We, 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 we want to build some more bits to the library. Right, I just heard her throwing a bottle... She spawned up on top of there? I don't think so. I definitely heard the witch. But I see no sign of her at the moment. So, on the to-do list, we, we want to do some more work on this library. I'm going to have to think of how we're going to do a roof on it. Whether it's a temporary roof so that we plan to do another story on top of this. I kind of like the idea of doing one more story, but no higher than that. And we just, like, expand it outwards. Um, but I'm not sure if we will do that or not. It's kind of like... it's it's At the moment, it's just a possibility rather than anything else. 
Right, I, when I was coming up here, I definitely heard that witch. But I don't know where she is. Go up here. She's not on top here. Definitely heard her around here somewhere. Oh, well. Right. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to want a trading house, like a, a, a trading place to get a load of villagers in. That's one thing that we definitely want to do. I need to go and find a desert and savanna so we can get a boatload of sand and a whole load of acacia trees as well. Uh, so that's another big long task. I mean, I could just like go around the edges of these and mine out the little bits of sand that we can see. And to be honest, that would probably be faster. I don't want to do that too much really, really close to the base because it ends up making it look really untidy and that. But we could just sort of go back over around these, I guess and go looking for a bit but i would rather find a desert so that we've then got lots and lots of glass available what is that on top of that mountain up there all right i'm just gonna have to jump down up on top of here there is something there that's a different color there's a bit of coal just there but there's something up here look there look oh it's because we're in the cloud. This is the this is the cloud layer right here. And that's why it looks a different colour. That is a long way down. Look at our place. This this is so cool. And you can see there's the outer edge of the spawn chunks over there. And the other outer edge is kind of over there. The center of the spawn chunks is not that bit there. It's actually one block behind there. It's sort of over near where those trees are. Which means that our spawn chunk... This is only a quarter of the spawn chunks. In here, all the way over, kind of about to where that bit of mountain is right there. This square right here, this is just one quarter of the spawn chunks. And then the rest sort of goes all the way out round over there. Which is insane. That is such a huge amount of area. And yes, they don't stay loaded when you go into the nether anymore. That's now changed. But all of our like farms and uh, you know any things that we want to build that we want to just be able to leave and we want them to keep running indefinitely and permanently, we can build them all in this area. Like we have got way more space than we'll ever probably want to be using up um so we we are gonna easily be able to do that now anyway i want glass in some of this i'm gonna want doorways and the problem is i'm not quite sure how i want to have the doors maybe we could have a double door in the middle we've got 10 blocks in between each square here so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we don't have a center one, which means that we've got double doors that we would be using. Um, now, we can either have double doors or we can just build an archway. I could perhaps have the dark oak uh, timbers, the solid timbers coming up and have those coming up um, to sort of build a bit of an archway over the top, maybe. Uh, even if it's just like a, a straight square uh i could have let's have a look let's have a look let's let's do some little experimentation on here so we go out on this side we've got that there and then we go we can see we can well unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today if you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.